Hi guys, another by-election, another really bad result for Rishi Sunak and the Conservative Party. So the latest was West Lancashire, a safe Labour seat which was won by Ashley Dalton, who had previously attempted to win a seat in Parliament in both 2017 and 2019. This is a really bad result for the Tories in two ways, which I'll get to in just a moment. But first, let's have a listen to what Ashley had to say. I think what we've seen tonight is that they're definitely losing votes in the country um, and they no longer have that mandate to govern and Rishi Sunak doesn't have a mandate to lead. So if this government wants to limp on without a proper democratic mandate and push things through Parliament, maybe they'll do that. But I think the message that has come tonight from the British people is that time is up for this Conservative government and we do need a general election. Do need a general election. So I just want to focus on the the constituency itself, a safe Labour seat for a number of years. You can see here it was held by Rosie Cooper for a number of years. But I want to focus on the last number of elections. Um, she held it with a majority of 11,689 in 2017 and a majority of 8,336 in 2019. Now, she left uh, to work in the NHS, so there was a by-election, and it was won by Ashley Dalton with a majority of 8,326. Um, now, what's interesting about all of this is you can see how um, the turnout was lower, of course, but at the last general election in 2019, the Conservatives won 19,122 votes. Um but this year, this time round, there's been a massive swing to the Labour Party. Now, I said there are two problems here. First of all, there's a massive swing to the Labour Party. That's a big problem for the Conservatives going forward. But you notice also that it did not evenly split with, for example, the Reform UK Party. Now, we've seen in the House of Commons, we've seen with particularly um, this approach with Lee Anderson, putting Lee Anderson in a, in a position of power, that the Conservatives were hoping that, yeah, we put somebody like Lee Anderson, he'll win over working class people. We, we can also use him to fight these culture wars, but it's not working because you would have imagined if the culture wars were working, the, the votes would go, you know, a lot of votes would go to the Reform UK party, but they ended up with less than a thousand votes. Now, this is a party that's backed by uh, Nigel Farage and Richard Tice, and it's been promoted on, you know, outlets like GB News. So you would imagine they would come up, you, they would come out with a pretty strong, come out with pretty, uh, pretty strong support, but that's not the case. Instead, votes went to the Labour Party here. 10% drop for the Conservatives, 10% gain for the Labour Party in a by-election. Um, once again, this is really bad news for for Rishi Sunak and the Conservatives. They probably hoped that if yes, we're not they were not expecting to win this seat. Of course, it's a safe Labour seat, but they were probably hoping that if they were to lose support, it would go to maybe the Reform UK Party, which is to the far right of them. No, it didn't. It went to the Labour Party. So there's complete uh, disgust with the government and. I think the voters are willing to give them a bloody nose over this. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.